In this tutorial, we're going to be staking our W tokens. It's a little bit more complex because we have to do it on an EVM blockchain. But don't worry, I'm going to go through every single step. Firstly, before we dive in, the reason why I'll be staking my W tokens is of course to engage in governance. But I also think, and many people think this as well, we think if we have enough W tokens staked, that we're actually going to get a Monad airdrop in the future. And Monad's a very, very hyped EVM layer two solution. So let's start now. So we're here at Wormhole, the actual legitimate Twitter. And this first pinned message is stake for governance is live for W token holders. Just need to click on this. And then we're almost ready to start if we have the W tokens on an EVM blockchain. Now, most people will not have that already as it is a Solana token, but it is on multiple blockchains, of course. So let's go through the entire process of getting this started. So I'm going to use the blockchain base, but you can use Arbitrum, Ethereum or base. There'll be other ones probably as well. However, if you do it on Ethereum, the blockchain fees will be quite significant. If you do it on Arbitrum, you're welcome to. But I think base has a lot of potential this cycle. So you can see here, I have this wallet right here. It's a little bit slow. All right, here we are. Now this has already been set up. And of course, I want to show you how you can actually set up your wallet. What I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to remove the extension, remove from Brave and just start fresh. That way we'll have no issues. Now, the reason why we have to do it like this is because in my wallet here, I'm going to go and buy some W tokens shortly, but we cannot connect to Tally with this wallet. If you happen to be using Phantom, which I no longer prefer to use, I now like Soulflare. The issue with Phantom is it doesn't actually connect to the base blockchain or Arbitrum blockchain. It only connects to Polygon, Bitcoin and Ethereum. And we want to go to base. So I'm going to unpin this and we're going to go and get the Coinbase wallet. The best place to start is just dupe.ag. Come up here and then click welcome to Solana. This will open up this, click get started. And this is going to give us a whole lot of different wallets that we can choose from. We're going to refresh this until Coinbase comes up. Here it is. We'll click on this and this will take us directly to the web page. That way we know it's a legitimate website. Then download Coinbase wallet. I'm going to be using Brave. So we'll click on this one, add to Brave, add extension. There's a million users let it do its install and then we're good to go. Now, if we want to, we can actually import our secret recovery phrase from our Soulflare wallet. Of course, we can start a new one, but we can actually import this if we want. I'm going to do this off camera, of course, but what we'll do here first is we'll go and pin Coinbase wallet and then we'll go, I already have a wallet. We'll click on this and I'm going to go and I'm going to enter this. We can either enter a private key or a recovery phrase. OK, so I'm at the point where I need to put in my password. I'll put in my password. I've just used one from one password to generate a really strong, secure password. And here is my wallet. There's a decent amount of money in this wallet. However, this is actually from the Solana blockchain. And I don't like to use Coinbase wallet for the Solana blockchain. It just does not work nowhere near as well as Soulflare. So what I want to do now is I want to grab some Ethereum from Dbridge. It's not completely necessary, but it will become necessary in the future if you want to do different things. So let's go back to Jupiter and we'll go Solana, Gateway to Heaven, Dbridge. We can just use this in the middle right here and we'll go ahead and we'll connect our wallet. Soulflare, auto approve. I'm going to turn on auto connect as well. Connect, you don't have to do that, but I use this website all the time and it's good. Now we want to go from Solana and we want to take some ETH, ETH portal. And we want to move this ETH from Solana across to the base network as ETH like this. Now, I don't have any at present, so we'll just go and grab some. We can either just go and do a swap here, of course, or pretty sure I've got some money in this wallet. No, I'm going to swap wallets, actually. Here, I've got some USDC in this wallet. So let's go ahead. Let's go and take. We don't need much. We could do like $20 USDC into ETH. Actually, we do have some ETH in this wallet, so we're actually all good. Connect this wallet, connect to the right one, auto approve, auto connect. Give this a refresh, maybe, or just a full refresh on the page. Change this again from Solana, ETH, ETH the portal. We'll go to base, ETH. So for some reason, it's not recognizing my ETH. So I'm going to go directly to Dbridge. Probably the best thing is to start with their actual Twitter, then dbridge.finance. Then we'll go bridge. Now let's go ahead. And let's change this here from Solana. We want to go from Solana. We want to have some ETH here, ETH portal. That's what we need. And then we want to go ETH here, ETH on base. We'll connect our wallet. Soulflare, auto connect is fine by me, connect. And now for some reason it shows up. So 
a little bit confusing, but it is what it is. I'm going to send 0.01. 0.01 is plenty. You don't need that much, but I'm going to have that much. And then I need to come up into my Coinbase wallet, let it load. If you don't like the Coinbase wallet, you can use MetaMask's wallet as well. And then we'll go ahead and we'll copy our Ethereum address. And then we'll come in here, we'll paste it down here, then confirm trade, sign and proceed. Make sure you read and you agree with this. Approve. It takes a little bit of soul here, a little bit of USDC we get back and then we get our Ethereum. We'll approve. This should have worked in my opinion with Jupe's website, but for some reason it just wasn't showing. That's not an issue with Jupe, that would be an issue with the widget of Dbridge. So I'm sure it'll be fixed soon. Now this is extraordinarily fast. So if we jump into Coinbase wallet here, we should actually see that we've got some ETH. The wallet is a little bit messy in my opinion, but we can see it right here, Ethereum and the base signal like that. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to go and grab some wormhole tokens. So I can go and do a swap inside Soulflare or I can go directly to Jupe. We'll grab some USDC, grab some W tokens like this. I don't want to grab too many, maybe like 100 worth, something like that. Okay, so the price has gone up a little bit. Now we'll swap, we'll confirm, and I'm sure we'll get our 100 tokens very shortly. While that's going through, Let's come back here to tally.xyz forward slash gov forward slash wormhole. We'll connect our wallet. We'll go with Coinbase wallet, connect, sign, then stake for governance. Then click start. You can just delegate to yourself, but I'm going to go with Farmer Taiki. Been following Farmer Taiki for years. At one stage, I was a better farmer than he was, but he just kept on going and he's a very good farmer. He's not really on Solana, at least not yet, but that's cool. We'll click continue. And now we have to transfer some tokens. So let's connect our wallet, Soulflare, connect. It can't see that we have W tokens. So let's just quickly do this again. USDC into W, it's like $70 or something. We'll do 75, swap, confirm. The swap isn't going through right now with Soulflare. So we'll just do it directly at dupe.ag. And now you can see I've got 100 W. I didn't have to approve in my wallet because I have auto confirm on with dupe. We'll come back here and give it a refresh. Connect here again. We've got 100, but clicking on it won't change anything. So we'll just type in 100. They come on down. We can't just connect straight away. We have to select the network. We'll go with base. You can have W tokens on these four networks. Connect our wallet. And for some reason, it cannot see Coinbase wallet. So let's just give it a refresh. And I think this is one of the reasons why I continue to get more and more bullish on Solana. I know how to do this. But this stuff is a little bit crazy. It's a little bit too hard. Okay, so we're now working. And if that ever happens to you, just come up to the jigsaw piece puzzle here, click manage extensions, and whatever one keeps on popping up, because I of course use this for tutorials, turn it off. Anything you don't want to use, like you can see I'm not using backpack, you can just turn it off. I'm not using grass with this particular one. I'm not using this. I'm not using phantom anymore. You can just turn them off. Then come back to Coinbase, select that, type in 100, scroll on down. Our fees are very small, 18 cents, approve. As you can see, it's not quite 18 cents. It seems to be about $1, but we'll approve anyway, because we do need tokens on this EVM chain so that we can actually go and participate in governance. Then we have a couple of confirmations, shouldn't take long, waiting for wormhole consensus. And now we can confirm delegation. We can also add W to our wallet. We probably don't need to do it with this wallet, it shows it automatically, but if you're using MetaMask, you would probably have to add it like that, but we'll confirm delegation. And then for some reason it's defaulted to Ethereum and it says zero. So let's just see if we can change this to base. Cool. Now we can see 100 W and it says we're eligible for one free delegation. So click this and stake for governance. Use free gas to stake for governance. As I said, we don't actually need the ETH for gas fees but we will need it in the future as we do things on base. And it also gives us practice just using Dbridge. So we'll stake here and it's not working again. So we'll click sign in again and we'll click sign and we'll try this again and stake. And now we have a signature request. I know this is a trustworthy website, so I'm happy to click sign. However, keep in mind with EVMs, you need to be very careful when you're signing transactions. We have now delegated our 100 tokens. Couldn't be easier. That's all for this tutorial. Catch you in the next one.